Francis here from MTVR and today I'm going to talk to you about my shoes. So these are Ride Concepts Helion Elites releasing today March 18th and I've been riding them for about a month and I have some few notes to share. So they're 140 bucks and they're very protective. Um, I would say all mountain shoes, you know, usable for, you know, for all levels of riding, extreme levels. So I've used a lot of Ride Concept shoes. Uh, when, when I saw the company, Reno, Nevada, dad formed it so his kids could ride and, and his wife. I was so enamored with their story because they were really forming a solution for all the riders, especially flat shoe riders, not just the rad riders, but kids, women. And back in the decline of Teva, uh, 510 was purchased by Adidas. They, there was a vacuum and they were filling it with a local company that really solved solutions. So I've used them a lot, you know, four or five years ago, they weren't quite dialed, you know, the fit wasn't there, it was a little bulky, the look wasn't right. And I would say this is the version 3.0 where they're, they're getting it right. So what they are, so as you can see, uh, and I'll superimpose some close-ups on it. Uh, the fit now looks good. It doesn't look like a, uh, what, what did someone call it? An AARP shoe that you see in a retirement home. Uh, a lot of them are that way because they, they need to be protective, right? So the, uh, the look is dialed, it's nice and streamlined, but what I notice right away is the fit is dialed. I'm a 43 and I don't have to size up or size down. Uh, it fits perfectly. But what I really like is it's now, it's wide, length is right, but it's wide at the toe box and low. I, I, I've had both Bonferger shoes that were so cavernous um, and, and, and some that are too tight. This one is nice and wide, but not too high. And why that's important is because your shoe is a contact point for your bike. You only have your bars really and your shoes and you, you maneuver your bike a lot with your shoes, with your feet. And if you have full contact with your shoe, heel and toe, it's so easy to move the bike, especially the way bikes are going now. So, so that I felt right away with the shoe. A couple of other details is the, it's light, it's not so heavy anymore. Microfiber uh, outer is what they're using uh, and they have you know, traditional welded stuff here, protection, heel, back, and, and toe. And so you can kick some rocks, wouldn't be a big problem. A couple other things they have going on is, uh, actually I should have noticed, uh, mentioned it first, is the rubber is now super grippy. It's, I think Rubber Kinetics DSD 4.0 is the technical term they use, which is their ultimate grip compound as of right now. So, you know, when 510 first came out a long time ago, they came from climbing shoes. They had that super tacky rubber and, and really it made a lot of sense to us riders. And this is now super grippy, still has the nice sole, uh, the hexagon shape. Another thing is the tongue. The tongue is nice and thin, uh, but, but comfortable, but it also has wings. So you're not gonna get rocks in your uh, through the through the laces into your, into your toe box. Uh, it's, it's gonna have a hard time going in. Nice uh, ventilation uh, in the front. You don't want your, shoe, uh, your uh, feet to get hot. I've also gotten these wet, a lot of stream crossings right now in NorCal, and they don't hold, retain a lot of water. So they dry off right away. So especially if you have some, some nice wool socks or waterproof socks, they are gonna be, um, you, you're gonna be able to keep riding without really soggy feet or heavy feet. Um, and finally, I would say the heel is super comfortable um look at that so don't you hate it when you have a, a biking shoe you have to get off every time you hike the heel lifts you know it's coming off your coming off your uh your foot is coming off your shoe this one has a nice molded cup and it works well uh and the last oh the last final thing i'll say is look how it bends um so it's not so hard it's not so protective that the um that you can't walk on it so that's pretty cool right so there you go what do you guys think so you definitely like it no qualms about it for aggressive riding 
this hits the spot for us and that new vice like on the guy sway that they have is really good for more all around you know going to the bar after so here's some video from right concept showing you their technology they're a technology laden company first and foremost but then they support the local scene and also uh, professional writers so have at it You can always go faster. <laughs> 